Now Eddie Griffin is going after Shannon Sharp. Since Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay did that interview with Cat Williams, to this day, I'm still seeing multiple video after video after video after video that's appearing on my timeline. And it's quite annoying, man. After a while, you kind of get tired of seeing that, hearing about the same old, same old every single day. It's gotten so bad that even a lot of the white channels are talking about black business. It's sad because a lot of white channels are also looking at black business as a moneymaker because there's always some type of drama going on among the so-called black Americans. Black Americans don't know how to unite but they definitely know how to create drama and friction among themselves. Now, Cat William had blew up the internet. And after that, everybody's been riding the skirt tail or the shirt tail of Cat Williams. Everybody now wants to, to join the bandwagon create some type of beef with Shannon Sharp because creating beef creates a lot of drama. And that's what black people want, drama. And now comedians are now, everybody jumping on the bandwagon. Everyone is clout chasing Shannon Sharp. And it's sad because I never really heard about Shannon Sharp or Club Shay Shay that much until after Cat Williams. And now Monique rode the skirt tail, or better yet, the shirt tail of Cat Williams. And now you got my boy, Eddie Griffin. Now, Eddie Griffin is my dude, man. He's one of my favorite comedians. But this is all for show, but to call my man gay. I don't know, man. It's like the black community or so-called black community is so disrespectful. It's almost like a death sentence for you, for a man to tell another man to suck his private part. It's a death penalty to, to, to tell another man, a so-called black man, that he's gay or you invite that man to your private part. That's a death sentence, man. Dudes have lost their lives for nonsense like this. Now, I don't know if Eddie Griffin knows something that we don't know. But for the, for the, for, for Eddie to come out and referred to Shannon as gay and talked about, you know, his tight pants and, you know, come on, Eddie, what you doing, bro? What's really going on here? And it's really sad, man, because in the times that we are living in today, so-called black people really don't need to be beefing with one another. We really don't need to because we already have the world against us. You have illegal immigrants that's breaking into the country. They are also against us and now competing against many of us in our neighborhoods. But yet in spite of everything that's going on, black Americans still have the energy to fight against one another, to beef against one another. I remember when I had my channel, uh, Fearless 2005, no one really paid me that kind of mind. I could, regardless of what type of video I post, no one really paid me that type of mind. The minute my channel started growing and I started doing interviews and many of y'all that was with me back when Fearless 2005 was at its peak. 
You guys know what I'm talking about. When I had uh, Professor I Self on and um, Vegas View, you know, um, when those brothers was on my channel, it's like I had people making videos against me. Didn't know me, but for clout reason, they wanted to mention my name in their video title just to get views. When I deleted that channel and now I'm starting out fresh, as many of you see, no one talks about Fearless anymore. I think the only person that mentioned my account is Ringo TV. Because I think me and Ringo, Ringo in the past kind of clashed a little bit. And we made videos against each other then. And it kind of faded off. I kind of like lost track. I don't know if Ringo um, stopped making videos for a while or, or what. But I hadn't seen Ringo in a while. Right? But he was the only one that recently mentioned me in one of his videos. And he was somewhat giving the brother props, man, because we are both OGs. We go back in the beginning when YouTube was really doing its thing, man, where you could really make money off of YouTube. But now things are different. So I, we don't know what Eddie Griffin knows. And maybe he's just jumping on the bandwagon for clout purpose. But that's not a good thing to say about another black man that he's gay. Unless you have some absolute facts that this brother is a sodomite, you should never say that. A black man should never invite another black man to his private part, much less call that man gay when he's not gay. Now, Shannon Sharp responded, and he was quite upset. He's got a right to be upset. And he said that he was not gay. And I find it weird because we're living in an era where you have so many so-called black men and black women that's always referring to a black man as gay, but never says anything about the black females that chase the rainbow. No one says anything about the black females that's on the DL. But it's a black man, but then these same so-called black folks were on the protest line for the LGBTQ community. So you support or supported the LGBTQ community. You support black men wearing a dress. You claim that there's nothing wrong with it. And you refer to other so-called blacks as homophobic. But then when you get angry or you want to get at someone, you refer to him as gay. But I thought being gay was okay with you because according to you, you have a family member and a loved one that's gay. So if you have a loved one or a family member that's gay, or you have a son or a daughter that's gay, why would you call another black man gay as a put down or as an insult? Knowing that you can lose your life. So I don't really understand or overstand all of this beef, man, especially this political environment that we're living in. We're living in a satanic society where demons are actually ruling this world. We actually, we're watching demons and demonic activity on social media. And we have to deal with the results of demonic activity, but yet you still being influenced by satanic energy, attacking another black man just because He's on top on social media. If he had not have interviewed Cat Williams 
we would not be talking about Shannon Sharp today. I'll repeat that. If Shannon Sharp did not interview Cat Williams, we would not be talking about Shannon Sharp today. Eddie Griffin would not have made that comment and referred to that brother as gay if that interview with Cat Williams did not occur. So it's almost like you're not only jumping on the bandwagon and clout chasing, but this is your get back because you didn't like what Cat Williams said, so you're now attacking the host that gave him a platform to say the things that he said about certain comedians. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time, I'm fearless.